hope you're enjoying um, this year's stationary feast. Um, before we started with the live wine tasting, we at Historic Albany just wanted to just tell you a little bit more about Wellington Road and about the Renaissance Hotel and how Historic Albany helped to save this area. Um, the history of Wellington Row is really the history, we think of it as one project, one group of buildings, but in actuality there are six buildings, each with its own individual history. Um, starting from the bottom of the hill, the one that has a gothic facade on it now, um, is thought to have dated from about the 1830s as the one next to it as well. The Wellington Hotel itself dates from the teens, was originally much taller. The um, Elks Club also dates from the teens. The Renaissance was um, opened in 1927, and that building replaced a number of small-scale residential buildings. But considered a very iconic street, an iconic streetscape, um, and it just reflects the, the continuing history and development of this part of the city. So Historic Albany's involvement in uh, Wellington Row and the redevelopment of the Renaissance, um, they're slightly separate, but in the end they kind of all came together. So we've been involved with uh, Wellington Row since really the 1980s. Um, the buildings had all been vacant for even then a substantial amount of time. Um, and we were really advocating for the redevelopment. Then in the 90s, the properties were sold to a uh, British developer who conveniently sat on them and was notoriously hard to get a hold of, um, which then resulted in actually, unfortunately, a few um, almost emergency demolition actions. But we were able to salvage a few little bits and pieces that otherwise would have been lost um, while the buildings just kind of sat there waiting. A lot of our advocacy was really behind closed doors and at public meetings trying to kind of help guide this project so that it really fit into downtown and I have to say I think the end product is something that we're all very very proud of instead of just saving the front facade there's actually a substantial portion of each of the buildings actually there yeah what kind of state was the building in when we began work it was interesting um, the facades and the structure of the building were in pretty good shape but the the roof the interiors all the building systems were badly in need of repair you know, the hotel had been converted into apartments in the mid-1970s and when we, when we walked into those apartments in 2013 after they had been vacant for years, it was, it was kind of surprising. It was like some of them you'd walk in and it looked like you would expect when a tenant moves out, but many more, the majority of them, looked like the resident just like hastily left during a fire drill. I mean, there was clothes, food stocked in the pantries, furniture. Were there any surprises during the restoration? Well, yes, there were. Um, I think the one that sticks out to me the most was early on in the project. We hadn't even closed on the purchase yet. And, you know, we were kind of in the building investigating and um, we're poking around, we're pulling up carpet and we're popping ceiling tiles. And we see this gorgeous plaster, you know, arched, ceiling in there and we're like what is that so we start literally with sledgehammers just knocking down the sheetrock wall and so w this is when we first discovered that there was that gorgeous barrel vault ceiling arcade that connects the state street entrance to the main hotel lobby on eagle street i'm very proud that we seem to have created a space that everybody really enjoys like young to old modernist to traditionalist um, but I would say the thing I'm most proud of is that that this project this renovation the renaissance of the DeWitt Clinton Hotel um, has consistently been considered a success by both developer and preservationists you know a lot of times it seems like we can have kind of a uh, contradictory uh, needs or goals and projects but somehow we figured out a way to really work together on this and create something that's spectacular and even now you know five and a half years later we're standing here talking about this project and everybody has a smile on their face.